Hi guys, and welcome back to Creative Pet Keeping. I was gonna do a completely different video today, but I'm really busy doing a lot of stuff. As you can see, this tank is cloudy again. Right now, I put in the algae fix to um, kill the blue-green algae, also known as Infusoria, that's in this tank that I've been calling it algae in my previous video, but it really isn't. And um, one of uh, you guys in the comments pointed it out. I didn't notice that I was uh, I should have probably cleared up and told you guys that it's infusoria because I keep calling it algae. I know what it is, but I think I would have confused you guys. So it is infusoria. That's the purplish stuff that's growing in the plants. It's going away. I'm just I knocked this over. So I put this in the water. I took out all the pothos plants. I also took out the um, jungle vale and all the other and the um, what's it called uh, water lettuce because they actually don't do well whenever I do this algae fix treatment. I also took out the babies and some of the guppies. They're in their little container here. So they're temporarily hanging out uh, while I do this. So I just put this in here. That is going to uh, kill a lot of the infusoria. I just had this go for the past hour or two. I'm about to do a large water change. Um, clean everything out. I might take out some of these plants and also spray them with hydrogen peroxide and then rinse them. That will kill the infusoria on contact and will help pretty much restart all the uh, plants in terms of growth. I, the reason I waited so long to do this is because as you can see I have all my pothos plant. I moved it over there. They're starting to grow roots now and they've actually been getting a lot of the nutrients from this tank and I've noticed on its own the infusoria was starting to go away so I, I was like okay this is the right time to attack this and kind of nip it in the butt because when I put the, the pothos plants back in after I clean this it should um, get everything under control so this is kind of like the one-two punch I also have the uh, filter uh, not being obstructed usually I block it off so it's not really strong the current is kind of strong. I do want it to aerate the water because the algae fix does kind of remove oxygen from uh, the water. So kind of even though having a current like this is not really great for bettas, it is helping so they can breathe properly. This does not harm fish, but you know, I'm always taking uh, precautions. So I'm about to do the water change, clean everything out. I've been, <sighs> I've been contemplating taking out all this sand and replacing it with um, some sort of eco soil that's good for plants I'm really thinking about it um, although I do want to get a lot of work done on this and the reason why I'm doing this vlog type video right now instead of on Friday is because um, I decided that I'm going to breed this pair sooner than expected because oh, this is my medicine right here I was medicating this guy a little bit but um she's full of eggs she's so full of eggs that um, if she swims too fast they fall out of her so this girl's popping she's ready she's so ready to go look at her she's huge me focus yeah she's so ready and then earlier before I destroyed it he made a beautiful bubble nest so it seems like these two are ready um, and I also need to do a water change on this guy's water of course it's stained because of the almond leaf but I want to give him some clean water his fins are doing really well with the almond leaves I mean they were doing fine before anyways but there's uh, demon betta and then of course ultra ball is in here somewhere He's been earlier hanging out at the front and kind of staring at me. He's doing awesome. He's a lot more active than before I trimmed his fins. So this seems to be working positively. So what the plan is, guys, plan of action is I am either going to move him out of here temporarily, maybe back in here. I'm going to do a water change, get rid of all the stuff on the bottom except maybe one or two things for the female to hide in and I might breed them in this tank lower the water level to maybe up to here and then breed them in here let the fry grow out a little bit and then um, 
move them into their grow out tub, which I bought right here. I need to set up. What I would do is I would move the, I got another pump right here and I ordered some more airline tubing. I was going to move this sponge filter along with the babies and put that in the tub and then I'm planning on using this not so fancy uh, this this filter to go in the 5.5 gallon. I'm going to put this in the 20 gallon long today so it will start uh, it will start getting all the beneficial bacteria so when I have this in this tank it should be fine. By then when I put him back in here when, when they're done breeding and I move the fry out I'll probably put him in here and then put the female back here when she's done maybe I'm not really sure what I'm gonna do with them yet but I'm kind of preparing oh there's there's master ball he's doing so well guys look at him he's doing awesome his fins obviously won't grow yet you won't see any changes until like probably a few like a month from now you'll see like a big change but see he's swimming he's doing he's doing well I'm slowly adding water every day to his little tank right here and raising the water level for him as he continues to swim more so he's doing well I also trimmed let me take you over there to do ignore my mess um, this 20 gallon long is doing really well if you ignore the dirty um, uh, glass and uh, I trimmed his fins as well uh, mr. bubbles because when I had Master Ball in here, Mr. Bubbles start, did start nipping his fins before I moved him out. And um, so I trimmed them so they could also have a new fresh start. And look at him. I just did it yesterday and he's, so he's hungry, he's swimming, he's energetic. So definitely, in my opinion, fin trimming, while it shouldn't be like overdone and done randomly nilly-willy, if you have a good reason to, it actually really benefits your fish and he's doing super well and he's swimming very well because of it. I have my guppies are growing out. They are starting to um, show their patterns a lot better now which is awesome. I can't seem to focus on any of them though. But their patterns are coming out. Hopefully they'll be breeding soon. And then this tank, I was going to put a divider in here um, for now. I won't because I kind of like how roomy this is. If you saw my previous videos, I had a disease in my, um, gosh, what is this? I keep forgetting what this is. Um, but yeah, this plant was sick. You can still see some splotches on it. So what I did is I did the peroxide treatment where I sprayed it with peroxide. I took it out of the tank, sprayed it, rinsed it. And as you can see, it's recovering quite well. Oh, there's Mr. Bubbles. Being really excited because he wants to be fed. Mookie, Mookie, what are you doing? Mookie's knocking things over, of course. Destroying my house every day. But yeah, so hopefully this tank will start growing out. I'm going to add some CO2. So yeah, that's it's it. It's a mess. I'm working on all the tanks right now. I was going to make a nice edited video. I was going to talk about a different topic, but I got really busy with this and I would rather keep working on the tanks today. That is the one downside of having three videos a week versus two. <clears throat> so maybe, I'm not sure, but maybe in February I might go back to my two videos a week schedule. Because I did notice that um, because I have less time, I don't have time to make fancy edited videos. So we'll see how it goes. But for now, I figured uh, even though it's not Fishy Fan Friday, I wanted to show you guys what I'm working on right now. I still have to uh, set this up and start aging the water and um, clean all these plants, put these guys back in here, clean this tank. I mean, obviously I'm not going to be breeding them yet. I'm not going to be breeding them um, this week. It's probably going to be next week. I'm still waiting for my brine shrimp hatchery to come in here. Because I can um, get some brine shrimp so I can have something prepared for when I do need to feed the fry. And a bunch of other things. So, yeah. 
getting everything ready, but you can see the entire group of ladies over here. And their one female guppy that they're hanging out with. But they're like, what is what is going on here, guys? This makes no sense. And then this female is like the runt. And she always has a stress bar. Hopefully she will grow up more soon. She eats very well and she hangs out with everyone. But she's like Miss Forever stress bar. Because she's the smallest. So. Hopefully the bigger water change will help get rid of the growth inhibiting hormone. That the other fem larger females release. And in turn will help her grow and catch up a bit more. So I don't know what I'm going to be doing. I don't know if I'm going to be taking all this sand out today and maybe when um, Daniel gets home we'll go real quick to PetSmart and pick up some eco soil or if um, I'm going to be just cleaning up the sand and just doing it that way or if I'm I don't know I have no clue what I'm doing if I do do a big change in this tank I will probably have to take out the females and I'll probably put them in a bucket with some tank water because I don't want to do too much in this tank with them being in here. Kind of like how I took the babies out. I actually, if I do plan any big changes, I am going to set up an air stone in here. So everyone can have oxygen. Uh, yeah, so I don't know. I have a lot of things working. Trying to figure this out. I want to set this up so everything is really nice here. And, um... Luckily, the fish are all doing well. They're all healthy now. There aren't any problems in that sense. Um, besides dealing with the issues with this tank, all the other it, tanks are doing fine. I also have the African cichlid tank downstairs, which has one problem where Mookie, the lovely cat, knocked over the light inside the tank. It was a LED a light, so luckily it didn't do anything, but to the fish, because I do have three African cichlids in there, um, three electric yellows, electric yellows, <laughs> ironically, um, but, uh, the light is broken, so my dad's gonna need to get a new light, because that's technically his tank, if he wants to, or if he doesn't, there's gonna be a fish, um, Greater Cichlid Association fish swap, Maybe I'll take the three fish to over there and sell it and just take that tank apart. But I haven't been giving you guys update on that tank because literally nothing is happening in this tank. It's just bare sand and nothing in there. And just three fish and just maintaining water quality. Um, and that tank is really old. It's really scratched up and it's held by clamps. So that's also not a tank I would be taking with me if I ever moved. Because that tank has a potential of breaking. Um on me so maybe maybe it is time for that tank to die who knows who knows but yeah so this is my little update for you guys this is everybody my mess there's like toothbrushes I used for cleaning my pothos plants and supplies and I'm kind of I'm kind of getting ready for everything so I'm going to do another video on Friday. I think instead of just doing another update video, you guys have two choices. I can either do a video about how I'm preparing for breeding the bettas, which I was going to do anyways, but I don't know if you guys want that on Friday. Or the other option is um, I can do a live show on Friday and um, talk to you guys and answer some questions. If I do do a live show, it might be a little earlier, probably like maybe 6 central time, um, US central time. That way, um, before Daniel gets home, because then Banana's going to be barking and all that stuff, so it gives me got half an hour to an hour to talk to you guys. So let me know in the comments below if you guys would like a live show on Friday or... Um, you want me just to try to talk about the beta breeding? Um, it's not going to be a beta breed tutorial. Just going to show you what I have and what I'm setting up and what I'm planning um, for everything. So I can breed this lovely pair. Uh, there's always a possibility. What is she doing? This girl. Are you stuck? There you go. It's hard to turn around when you're full of eggs. But, um... 
yeah i could totally fail with this first batch um and the fry may or may not even make it because this is you know the first one we're just learning this together so we'll see but this girl she's she's ready to pop she is super super ready and the male is ready too even though he's she's kind of bigger than him at first i thought she was gonna get dropsy and i freaked out because she got so fat real fast but then when she dropped some eggs yesterday i was like oh okay that's good then i'm not gonna worry so yeah there's that okay i'm gonna go back to um working on these tanks and using the peroxide to treat all the plants to kill the Ephesoria to kind of get this tank back to its glory. So yeah. Bye guys. I hope you liked this video. Please give me a thumbs up if you did and check out all my other videos. Bye.